Jailbreak was never designed to be beaten, because there is no end goal to the game. But Jailbreak has changed a lot since its release, and five years after its release, it was finally able to be beaten. It might change how Jailbreak players would play the game. Forever. It's the summer of July 2022. Everybody's off school and people are using their time wisely. But something was off. Jailbreak has an update in forever. In fact, it's almost been a year. Other games are making big updates to hook in their players. But Jailbreak had been the same game ever since. Something needed to be done. Jailbreak had to be revived. And all I took was one tweet. Witness the Hyper Chrome update. That would triple Jailbreak's player count for the following months. But Emo would upload this image to show how the Hyper Chrome update would work. Rob select locations for a free robbery bonus. This means if you rob certain stores, you would have a chance to get a Hyper Chrome. And if you were lucky enough, you would eventually get it. But how lucky do you have to be? The more you level up your first Hyper Chrome, the much harder it becomes. And if you want to get a 1 level 5, it's thousands of robberies. If you want to get all 8 level 5s, thousands upon thousands of robberies. But when you combine them all, you get the Hyper Shift and beat the game forever. But I need to conquer all 8 robberies, each with their own difficulty. First off is a train. This robbery is a moving robbery that always stays on the tracks. It's very frequent and easy to catch. Next up is the jewelry store. This robbery is filled with jewels and lasers. You're supposed to punch the jewels and climb your way up to the top. There's multiple floors and each robbery is different. Next up is the museum. This robbery is filled with puzzles. Unlike other robberies, this robbery actually requires two players to start it. There's a puzzle on each side of the rooms too and each player has to flick the lever after doing it. This robbery is all about teamwork, and if you don't have a teammate, then good luck doing this. Next up is the power plant. This robbery is filled with conveyors and lasers everywhere. You have to do puzzles to complete the robbery. And once you get it, you have to turn it in. The faster you turn it in, the more money you get. This robbery truly tests your driving skills. Next up is the casino. This robbery is a lot bigger than others. You also have to find a code that is scattered on the first floor. And the code will be different every time. I Meaning each casino is different from the rest. Not to mention the four floors it has too. This is definitely one of the longest robberies in the game and one you want to avoid. Next up is the plane. It's the second mover and robbery in the game. And unlike the train, it only goes to one area. And if you miss it, good luck even catching it. Next up is the bank. This robbery is all about PvP. And very easy to get arrested in. As soon as you start it, every cop will literally swarm you. Next up is the tome. The tome is one of the most unique robberies in the game. Because it actually has three pressure plates. You need three people to even start it. Opening the robbery is harder than completing it. So good luck even trying to wrap this. The update comes out and everybody wants to play. Every server is filling up. And the criminal team too. And after playing for a few hours, I managed to get one for the first time. This was my first Hyper Chrome, but seeing it land was so satisfying. It left me kept going for more. So I did some research and tried to find the best way to grind Hyper Chromes. And I came to one conclusion, rob the least amount possible. Because for some reason you can bring the least amount possible and still get the Hyper Chrome row. But I needed a plan. And that plan was to rob train and only train. So I focused primarily on train, because that was the easiest robbery to do. You'd always move around the map so you couldn't miss it. 
And by doing this, I actually got another level 2. But now I just need a level 3. After a few hundred robberies, I think I'd finally get it. Finally gotten a level three hyperchrome. It took a week, but I knew I was making progress. I was starting to average a hyperchrome a day. People were calling me lucky, but they don't know how lucky I can truly get. Because just three minutes later, this happened. A back-to-back -back hyperchrome, level 3 and 4. The chances of that happen are so low. It's like winning the lottery at that point. But that's something nobody else had. A level 4. You have to make sure I turn that thing into a level 5 to get the first one. I didn't know how long it would take me. But with this momentum, I knew it wouldn't take long. One down, seven to go. With this, I now had shiny glow and rays on my volt bike. Wait, what is the volt bike? The well, lies at the one million shop. There lies the most broken vehicle ever created. Capable of hitting 200 miles per hour in just two seconds. The speed isn't what makes it overpowered. It's its handling. Capable of moving anywhere on that map with high speed. This is what truly makes it OP. It can move around the map like butter. While other vehicles cannot. It has the most potential of any vehicle. As it breaks its own speed limit on rails. It allows me to fly through the map. What I need the most is the diamond hyperchrome. There are lies in the jewelry store. By design, you start from the bottom and work your way up. There's four different floors, each with a different layout. The players find out that the jewels are actually connected to the wall. This allowed you to not even go into the building and just punch it right outside. This allowed you to easily get robberies done. This allowed me to get a level 1 hyperchrome. And the next day I would get a level 2. This was completely overpowered, and nobody thought of it ever getting patched. Until it did. When they removed it from the wall and added a few spaces in between. I mean you can't punch the walls for jewels anymore. But jailbreak players wouldn't listen. We find an even better way to glitch it. I punch in the jewels three times. You can use your last punch to just run outside and duck. Causing the insta route to happen. This is completely overpowered and way more broken than the last one. Because it already closed the store instantly. And with this, I got diamond three so fast. I even got diamond four too. There was just no stopping me at this point from using it. I was yet one level away from another level 5. But this one fell harder. I did hundreds of robberies and didn't get it. As sometimes there would be a robbery in progress, so I have to come in from the top instead of the bottom, leaving me not to do the glitch anymore. Just to get bad RNG rooms. But something would change that. It changed that the J Store worked all together. 
because these gem rooms by a big secret. Because normally you have to punch your jewels at the bottom. And you can only turn them in once. But if you go back into the store, you can pick up those gems and keep on turning them in. And this causes a hypercomb duplication glitch. And after a thousand robberies, I think I was about to get it. I couldn't believe it. A stack of two. I had never seen that before. I knew I was close. I'd done a thousand robberies. Any robbery, I could hit the pity for it. But I didn't know which number I was at. I had to keep guessing. But I couldn't give up because I knew one day I would finally get it. Two down, six to go. I knew I had to grind museum next. This Robbie opened really fast, but it was also very hard to do. And by grinding with random people, I'd actually gotten a level two. But I needed new tips, and none would show until somebody showed me this. By design, you're supposed to do the puzzles and flick the levers. But this is hard because you need a second player at both ends. And if you aren't playing with friends, good luck even trying to do this. But it turns out you can actually exit from the entrance of the museum. Because you can actually drive vehicles into it. So people theorize you could drive the pickup truck into it. It's just barely toable to climb out. But I was about to discover something just as broken. Because once you do a robbery, you have to turn it in. If you try going to another robbery, it won't work. Even if you drop the bag and punch the jewels, you don't get the jewelry. This means you can't do two robberies at the same time. Except for one. The power plant is extremely broken, and you are able to bring any robbery in with it. It's the one robbery you can do with another robbery. And by doing this, I'm basically doing two robberies instead of one. If I drop my museum bag, I can turn the power plant first to make sure I get both robbery spins. And I was getting hypercomb pity like crazy. Got a level three. And museum three. This was too overpowered. And I was basically connecting two robberies together. But I needed a team. I needed friends to make sure I opened that museum robbery. And with this, I knew I was going to get something. I was making so much progress on these robberies just by stacking them. But they were taking a while. It was taking hundreds of robberies for each one, even up to a thousand for the level four. It was taking weeks, a month. I knew I had to progress. I was starting to stack robberies with the power plant even afterwards. I was trying to break the limits of the power plant robbery. I felt like I had to get it through pity, but that thought would change the next day, because this was about to happen. I was devastated, but maybe I didn't deserve it. But I feel like I could be better, 
because I was often dying. And maybe if I didn't die there, I would have gotten it. Because others don't have to experience what I do. They have to change how I myself play the game. Because I can't be an ordinary robber. I have to be the best. Four down, four to go, but something was bad, I had competition, but this was no ordinary competition, this guy would pay anything for any hyperchrome he didn't have, any price or request, he could pay it, this is now a race to hypershift, and I'll make it one hell of a fight, all the way across the map is the casino, only had a level 2 from previously grinding. But there's no shortcuts or anything. This robbery is unique. I need to change how I myself change the robbery. And I can only think of one. The sword. What's seen as a useless weapon in the weapon shop. It actually might be the most overpowered weapon created. Because when swinging you have a chance to do a small dash. This is really good for movement. You would already think this is fast enough. But there's something even better. Because this is no ordinary weapon. It's a weapon of movement. Because by unequipping and equipping your sword, you can get way more dashes than what is physically possible. It allows you to glide with ease. I knew I had to grind casino now. I was robbing it two times faster than normal. I just had to wait until I could get it. I had gotten a pink four, but now I need to focus on the plane. I knew this robbery would be hard in particular. Just because of this door. I mean you have to come early before the plane leaves. But it turns out, I was completely wrong. Because no matter what, people will change how you rob things. Entirely. Because you don't have to arrive early. You want to arrive when it's taken off. By jumping out of your vehicle. And if I was late enough for that, I would grab an army heli and just fly to the plane. Because the one thing I want to do is not miss a plane. I thought I knew everything to the plane robbery. And so I clicked this button. Because you can actually call the plane. You can start the robbery a lot earlier than normal. And by getting a second account to do this, you can get way more planes than normal. Causing me to get a level 2 right away. In the day next, a level 3. I now have to master the bank next. But this robbery is different. And swarmed you with cops. I need to find a new way to rob it. Because I used to always get arrested. But now cops think they can stop me when I need it the most? Nah. This is my way to defend that. The more I played the game, 
the more I realized how broken rockets were. They could literally two-shot people and hit behind walls. But what I discovered is completely different. It completely breaks the game entirely. Because by using rockets, you leave a trail of fire. And this fire does a lot of damage. Making some vaults completely unbustable. Which leads me to my next tool, the flintlock. Some people see it as high damage, but I see it as mobility. Because you can actually do this. And make another vault completely unbustable. I had mastered the bank robbery entirely. But my hypercrum was still level 2. And you had to see results eventually. I'd gotten a bank level 4. I thought I was lucky. But just 10 minutes later, this plane robbery felt different. I was in the end game. This wasn't a normal end game, because I still had Tome left. I had a measly level 2 from grinding for 2 months. But after a week, my luck would finally change. I was behind now. I needed to get something. Anything to keep my motivation up. Anything. Please. Oh my god, I almost died. Five down, three to go. Wait, they got a green now? They're seven out of eight. I only have five. I guess it's the end.
green five, blue five, and red four in the span of 12 hours. But this was it. One crumb away. One loose red five. He wins. I get the first red five. I get the first hyper shift. So let's end this. Once and for all. Because this is my plan. Because I only had one Robbie left. I thought I could just server hop between every server. Like in a group of three. I could just server hop to him like crazy. I was robbing to him 15 times per hour. When he's supposed to open every eight minutes. But I could feel the tension. Days go by. Someone had to get it. It was me versus Jailbreak. And he's home now. One loose red five. And it's done. I had to be the one. But I was about to discover something insane. I've worked my way up to this point. After every patch, I had to change how I played the game. Because if those lasers killed me, I might still be Grind Casino. The plane doesn't tell me when I have to arrive. I arrive there when I want to. I had to find my own ways of playing the game. I had to face the hardest barriers and find ways to counter them. But these guys didn't. I had mastered every robbery up until this point. All the way from that first red one, I had to learn everything. Because I didn't know nothing about the game. Because the last person I'm losing to, somebody who doesn't deserve it. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Dude, dude, I got it. Oh my god, dude. Dude, there's no way. Dude, no. Dude, look, look at it. Spam me that. The tome has been defeated. And I'd gotten the first hyper shift in Roblox Jailbreak. And it was worth grinding all the way. Because I had met many people. And had fun doing so too. So thank you guys for watching. If you want to support me, make sure to subscribe. I want to hit 100 k by next year. And maybe get a star code. Anyways, thanks for watching my story. And I'll see you next time.